What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. We're talking about the top 10 crazy After Effects techniques coming out from the community. As many of you know, I love After Effects because it is a super powerful software that allows for VFX animation, compositing, and creating some of the dopest visuals I've seen. But this software would not nearly be as dope if it wasn't thanks to these creators on this list, really pushing the software to the limits. I'm super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. As many of you already know, this series focuses on the craziest techniques coming out from the community. That means that creators just like you are making some of the most amazing uses of After Effects. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because you don't want to miss out on some of the dope stuff that we got planned. Also, if you've already hit subscribe, thanks for being a part of this community because our goal is to hit 500,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I know that's ambitious, but I also know that we can do it. Quick disclaimer, this video is not in order of importance the creators on this list are just too dope to compare like that but the final three are going to be my absolute favorites and the ones that have inspired me the most just checking out their work so make sure you guys stick around to the very end so you don't miss out on those ones anyways i got the phone we got the list let's hop right in first up at number 10 now what would a list be without some ar phone tracking here we have one from papit knob 04 who creates this really sick phone tracking just using his phone and it looks super clean and i love the way that you even have that lighting happening whenever you rotate your phone like left and right it looks really realistic and sick now we also have one from Sagnik Kumbakar who created this using an iPad and he went a little bit further by using Element 3D to create this entire scene in which Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy is then dancing in the scene I think this is super fun and playful next up at number nine here we have one from user Powell Jadon who is in an office playing with himself and I know that sounds pretty raunchy but he's actually playing with himself with the ball. I don't know if I'm making this any better. <laughs> I just love how awesome this one came out using this teleportation technique in After Effects to have him throw a ball and then also catch it and play catch with himself, which is just super sick and creative. I really love those extra details of having that paper fly across the room. So it really adds that physicality to this effect. If you guys are watching and curious how to make your own teleportation effect, we actually have a tutorial right here. It's a VFX beginners tutorial on the channel. And we go through the process of creating a clean plate, making yourself look like you teleport and using some various different stock footage and assets to really enhance those effects. I love your work a lot and I hope to see more. At number eight, here we have one from Rafo VFX and here he creates this super sick bendy building that wobbles when he flicks it. When I first saw this, it just stopped me in my tracks because that is so sick. The way it's composited in is just super clean and then the effect and silliness of it is one of those effects that's a really nice play on reality. Rafo VFX actually created this using a combination of Blender and then After Effects. So you can see Blender was used to recreate this 3D building and then add that wobble to it. And on the After Effects side, he's able to then composite in his hand flicking. So these two scenes are not shot with the same footage. They're actually two different scenes then composited together, which looks super, super sick. Next up at number seven, this next one comes from Gillen Art, who creates this series of isometric animations in After Effects and Procreate. So he first begins this process by illustrating these scenes scenes in Procreate and then he's actually able to just roll through the different tracks by using After Effects and masking and then compositing the different layers together. The style of this came out really dope and I just love how fun and playful it is. It almost even reminds me of like an isometric cutout of a Hayao Miyazaki movie. This one is just so creative and I love the style and the techniques used to create this and I hope to see more of your work Gillen Art. Coming up at number six, yo this next one from Atgarans stopped me in my tracks because here he's out in a rainy scene and all of a sudden he's able to make the raindrops freeze in midair. He actually combined both After Effects and Houdini to create this effect which is a, just a really nice pairing of the two programs and I love how it came out. All right we're about halfway through the list at number five. Here we have one from user OBZENDF aka Fieldhouse on YouTube. Here he makes a True Detective 3 title sequence in After Effects. If, if you guys have never seen the True Detective sequence it's known for these layers 
composites that look super clean, kind of creepy at the same time. Now, the crazy thing about this one is that he's actually using a video game called Days Gone to create this sequence. He also makes a whole bunch of really dope other trailers that mimic high production TV trailers, but using video games. So I think that idea is just really awesome and fun to play around with. Just take a look at this one. This one is super sick, and I think it's probably one of my favorites of the whole series. Number four on the list. Yo, this one is super sick. Here we have one from Jeremy Nixon, AKA Nixon Animation on Instagram. And here he brings us this 3D head that was created using a really handy plugin called joysticks and sliders. And he also used the puppet pin tool and then took this to a whole nother level by compositing this on a tablet and having a really dope breakdown. Not only that, but if you've checked out Jeremy Nixon before, he looks like a character in himself. He literally always has this like suit and these goggles on top. So it's kind of interesting to see him. <laughs> I love your work a lot, Jeremy Nixon, and I hope to see more. We're now at the final three. This next one from Vesnato, AKA Artem Bodarenko. At first glance, everything looks pretty normal. It's a guy putting in some laundry into a laundry washer. And then instead of the clothes being the things to spin, the entire room is something that spins. I love this twisted play on reality and how he shows us this breakdown, which involved extensive rotoscoping and a bit of tricky animation techniques. This one was made possible thanks to two plugins, one being Primat here. And then he's also used Newton, which is another plugin that we've talked about plenty of times. It's made the top 10 list very frequently. Plugins that I very much love to use. Primat here makes the keying process a whole lot easier. And then Newton lets you add in physics-based animations to your work in After Effects. It is super powerful. And if you guys want to check those plugins out, we're going to be leaving links down in the description box. Check out number two on the list. Here we have one from Motion Graphics and Concepto, which is actually a Spanish After Effects YouTube channel. So if you guys speak Spanish, there's a full tutorial for this on his channel. But if not, we're still going to talk about a little bit of how this really awesome Goku animation was created. What really stood out to me about this effect was that the Goku hair animation is just so fluid. So the way that he's actually getting that hair to move and flow super dynamically and realistically is thanks to another plugin that is completely free, by the way. I always love free plugins. And this plugin is called APF Hair Rig. There's a 3.5 version out right now. And it was created by Anthony Pussabon, who has a YouTube channel here as well, which talks about more how this plugin can be used to create some really dynamic looking hair animations. I think the results of it look super nice in all sorts of different use cases. And the one that Motion Graphics and Concepto used this for was really, really sick. And of course, as a Dragon Ball Z lover, I'm gonna love this Goku animation. It also looks like he's using Saber to create that faux lighting and the electric effects, which is just a really nice touch because Saber is also a free plugin. And last but not least, here we have at number one on the list. Next up, we have one from Hanuwashi who creates manga comic book trailers. And I think his work really stands out because he's able to take these cell frames and just really bring them to life with these simple animations and clever compositing techniques. He actually says that he creates all of these by hand hard cutting out the edges, which is just freaking insane because it's almost like he's having to redraw some of these elements right inside of After Effects. The techniques that he uses to make these manga animations come to life, like the different 3D depth mapping, and then the simple keyframing animations is just perfectly timed and used in the right moments to really make these mangas come to life. I think your comic book trailers are super sick, Haniwashi, and I hope to see more of your work. So those techniques were some of the dopest that I've seen just this past month. But of course, I can't see everything that's out there. And I know that you guys have probably been like, whoa, that definitely deserves to be shown to the rest of the community. So if you have one in mind, make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down below so we all can check it out and get to benefit from your awesome find. If you're curious to learn more After Effects techniques, all sorts of super cool things that you can do with the software and different creators that are just pushing this software to its limits, make sure you go ahead, check out this playlist. I don't know what you're still doing here. Just click that playlist and let's go. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope to catch you on the next one. Peace.